What's the buzz all about? I've got five all new bee themed tear trade decor DIYs coming at you in today's video. But first, if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Before we jump into the DIYs, I wanted to let you know that I'm participating in the Let's Be Creative Open Playlist. The hosts are Crafty Cove, Farm Charm Chic, Six Kids and a Glue Gun, and Kiki's DIYs. The links to their channel and to the playlist will be in the description box below. For DIY number one, I'm taking this cute bunny bait sign from Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the twine. And I'm also going to remove the paper on the front and I just take a very wet rag and let it set on it for a bit. And I'm going to also remove the metal piece at the top of the sign. After you let that rag soak the paper for a bit, it peels back pretty easily. And then I just scrape it with that scraper tool thing and sometimes I rub it with the rag. I get all the paper off and I also make sure to remove the gummy glue residue as well. The sign is made out of, I don't know, I think it's MDF board or something like that. But here I'm just trying to stain it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And it doesn't coat very evenly. And I don't really have a set way to apply the Waverly Wax, but here I'm just painting it on and then taking a damp rag and wiping off the excess. This little wood piece was actually from one of those birdhouse kits from Dollar Tree and I'm just painting it bright yellow. I made a decal with my Cricut that says, Oh Honey, and I'm applying it to the sign. I sketched out some honey drippings and I was going to paint them yellow, but it was not turning out like I wanted so I quickly wiped it off with a damp rag before it had time to dry and then I took some hot glue and I made the drippings with hot glue it's kind of hard to see but now I'm painting them yellow to look more like honey at least that's my idea we'll see if it works out and then I took that scraper tool thing again and I tried to lift them, lift them up off of the cutting board that I was using to paint them on and they're stuck or I mean, I guess I should say they're hot glued on, but they do come off. You can't see very well, but I'm adding some jute twine around the top and then I add the honey drippings that I made and it's, you know, it's kind of funny, but I used hot glue to hot glue down the honey drippings that are made of hot glue. So anyways. After I add that, I just finish wrapping around the top with jute twine. And then I hot glue down the O oh Honey sign. And then I decided to add some buffalo check ribbon to the top. And as I'm watching this, I'm realizing that I get, I guess I didn't show y'all, but I added a half a bead to the top of the sign. It's going to be kind of like the little knob on a jar. And I add a jute twine bow to the corner, of course, because it's me and I like jute twine bows. <laughs> and then I painted the little bead at the top black. And to give this sign a little bit of embellishment, I'm adding some white lines around the outside. And this is how it turned out. My little Oh Honey sign is super cute, don't you think? Crafty DIYs on a Budget is my crafting group that I have with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY. And guess what? You are invited to join. So the link is going to be in the description box below. Come and see what we're all creating. Don't blink because DIY number two will buzz right past you if you do. So I took some old Scrabble tiles and I painted them white, but here's a little trick for you. If you need to paint something small, you can do what I did here. I took some masking tape and I taped it down to my painting mat, sticky side up. Then you just lay down whatever you're going to paint onto the sticky tape and it'll hold it for you. I then stain four tower tumbling blocks with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And 
After the tiles are dry, I take a fine point Sharpie marker and go over the letters and numbers so that they show up again. Now it's time to hot glue the stand together and I'm just hot gluing two blocks together end to end and then I'm hot gluing on the back. I'm just using those little blocks and I'm kind of standing them up so it creates like a little ledge. Next, you just glue on the letter tiles to the holder and I start in the center to make sure everything lines up okay. And this is how my little buzz sign turned out. Super cute and super easy to make. For DIY number three, I'm starting off by painting this little wood piece with folk art paint in the color rich black. And I'm gonna Mod Podge some fabric onto this wood square that came from Dollar Tree. And I start off by putting some on the very edge first. And I take this really cute fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby and place it carefully on top. Before I finish Mod Podging though, I flip it over and I cut the excess fabric from around the square. Now I should have done this first, to be honest. So if you try this, cut it down first. I added a bit of Mod Podge and then I used a ruler as kind of like a squeegee to keep it smooth as I glued it down, if that makes sense. Well, you'll see what I'm doing. I cut out a decal that says be kind and I'm transferring it on to the wood square. I'm attaching two wood cubes that I got from Dollar Tree to the back bottom corners to help the sign stand up. And then I'm hot gluing the wood be kind sign to the front. Y'all, I absolutely love this one. It turned out super cute and it's gonna look so great on my tear tray. This is DIY number four and I'm already gonna spoil it for you and tell you it turned out cute. So I'm taking a large craft or popsicle stick and I'm cutting it down and this is gonna be the body of the bee. I painted the craft stick pieces yellow. I took hearts that I got from the his and her section of Hobby Lobby and I'm just painting them white. And I got this wood palette from Dollar Tree and I'm staining it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. Now it's time to assemble the bee. So I'm hot gluing down the body of the bee first. And then I'm painting the head of the bee black. And of course I'm adding the stripes of the bee. Now it's time to add the wings. So I'm just gluing those hearts together like the end to end or bottom to bottom. And I'm adding some faint lines to kind of define the wings. Oh wait, I'm, I'm doing the bee's butt in black as well. <laughs> and now I'm adding some faint lines to kind of define the wings. I made a decal with my Cricut and I'm just applying it to the bottom and I haven't mentioned it in this video but the things I make with my Cricut can be made by tracing or using a stencil or just free handing so don't let not having a Cricut stop you from creating. This turned out so stinking cute just like I told y'all it would and I really love it. This is it y'all, the final DIY for today. And y'all, it is a cutie too. Marvin cut out this shape for me with our jigsaw. I'm taking some carbon paper to trace out on the material, the cap that I'm gonna be cutting out. By now you can probably tell I'm making a gnome. And to make this wood shape, I actually took a picture of a gnome that I saw at Hobby Lobby. I printed it out and I traced that onto a piece of wood and then we cut it out as you saw just a second ago. But it's just really easy to create a wood shape that way. 
And then using the same technique that I showed y'all earlier, I'm painting the gnome's nose a light pink. And where the material for the cap is going to go, I'm giving it a coat of white paint. This large craft or popsicle stick is going to be a sign and I'm painting it white. And I'm putting some Mod Podge on the cap area and then I'm carefully going to lay down the material. I add some Mod Podge around the edges of it to seal it down. And y'all, it's not a perfect fit, but it's close. And I don't think I showed this earlier, but I had lightly sketched where the beard lines would be, and I'm just painting it white. And while the paint is still wet, I'm going to go in with this Parisian gray color to give the beard some dimension. And here I'm just painting the body of the gnome black. And I had cut out another decal with my Cricut that says, be happy, and I'm just transferring it onto the craft stick that I painted white. I'm using a dab of hot glue to glue the gnome's nose on. <laughs> Say that five times, sis. Gnome's nose on, gnome's nose on. Yeah, never mind. And now I'm going to glue down the gnome's sign. And I used another large craft stick and I cut out the ends and I'm going to use these as the gnome's feet and I'm just hot gluing those on. Not his feet, his shoes. <laughs> and I'm giving the shoes a quick coat of territorial beige. Y'all, I mean y'all, this is so stinking cute and I just love it. I outlined his shoes to give them some dimension and I used the end of a paintbrush that was hollow to make his buttons and I just really love how it turned out. I just think it looks so cute. And here are my projects on a tear tray. I just love how they look. Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Thanks y'all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my projects and don't forget if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.